to another video. Um, let's showcase Cyberpunk DLSS 3 on Linux, including DLAA, so Deep Learning anti aliasing and Deep Learning Super Sampling. At this case, frame generation basically, and the fact that now we can actually play with a 4090 on using DLAA. So let me just show you. We're getting, we were getting something around 50, 40 to 50. Okay, when before it was eight frames per second to 15. So that's a three time jump there. Um, I got it like this, like I'm putting on the worst case scenario. Uh, I could enable path tracing, and as you already know, that's basically going to kill the 4090. Leave it in like that. Let me just show you. That's, and we're still getting, instead of getting 8 FPS, we're getting around 30 FPS. Okay, let's just move around a little bit. Yeah, around 30. Before it was just 8. Uh, so let me disable this. And... Let's change the DL. Actually, let me leave it like this. Let's drive around a little bit. There's a... Wow. When you move around, it looks... different. Like with better quality. But we're getting 50, so that, that's great. Uh, that's, um... What are we talking about? Three times jump? Um, with frame generation? Before it was just 15. Look at the graphics. You okay? Rough neighborhood. Oh yeah. And now let's just put the um, the quality mode that we had before. Um, I think I, I had sharpness like that. Let's see how it's gonna. Yep. So before, before. If you can watch my previous video about this, you would see that I should be getting between 50 and 60 FPS. Now we're getting 80 FPS. Around 80, well, okay. Above 80 FPS. Almost 90, or sometimes 90. With the frame generation, of course. Yeah, it's steady there. Yeah, above above eighty. Let's just put it there. I know it's in ninety, but let's just say above eighty. To be fair, which means. We're on par with Windows. Maybe a little bit more. Oh my god. It's a lot of crime to have my kids around here. Let's check out um, if this affects anything. Okay, so we're getting that 80 still there, so it didn't affect that, but I can, I don't know if you can watch that on the video, but I can actually visually see the difference. So let me just put this like in 50 or something, maybe enable that there too. Yep. Whoa! My god. Okay, we're still above 80. Thanks to this guy. Um... Let's let's test performance, or I think it was ultra performance that we're testing last time. Okay, it looks it looks beautiful. Well, never mind. I just saw some artifacts there, but it looks nice. It looks it looks good. Let me put that in quality again, just to double check something. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna cry. It's 40 FPS more if you put in performance using frame generation. 
so I think we've done it thanks to Proton and all so yeah you can see that 4k with frame generation DLSS 3 enabled and basically everything full we get around 80 FPS now sometimes more sometimes less most of the time more units in the area. Disorderly conduct reported in Watson. 331 responding. On my way, dispatch. But only because I like you. Let me get to that zone. Look at the graphics. Yeah. Look at me almost dead. Trap, right? Well, anyway, we're getting 90, same, same as uh, me driving. So that means that we're getting a boost, depending which one you're using. If you're using DLA, uh, DLAA, you're getting twice as much FPS, meaning around 30, which is horrible for, I mean, for a 4K. If you're using DLSS, we get 80 or more with the settings that you're seeing here. And if you go crazy and you put this at more, then you know what you're going to be getting. Hope you like the video and you can see the boost of thanks to DLSS 3 on Cyberpunk. And I think we're on par with Windows now. You will need to check out there. I'll leave a note in the description. Once I check a couple other videos out, because I don't remember uh, the, the typical FPS that they have for DLAA and DLSS at this uh, level. Okay, so thanks, big hugs, and think positive as always.